Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome Pop. Today I'm at the toy hospital. It's flu season and we have new patients coming in one after another. It's like a revolving door here. Here comes another one now. Uh-oh, it's baby Sky. What's the matter, Sky? Sky not feeling too well. Sky head hurt and I have the um I achoo, achoo, achoo. The sneezies. Can you help me? Hmm, sounds like you caught the bug that's going around. I'll give you a full checkup just to be sure. Okay, thank you. All right, Sky, let's lay you down so you're more comfortable. I'll monitor your vitals with this machine. Those are good, so you're not in immediate danger. Now we'll take our time and really see what's wrong with you. I have this Peppa Pig checkup kit with all of my tools inside. Let's mask up and get started. This is the list I'm going to go through to make sure we don't miss anything. First, I'll use a stethoscope to listen to your heart. That's beating strong. Can you turn around for me so I can listen to your lungs? Hmm, your breathing is a little weak. Yeah, Sky's been <laughs> coughing a lot. I see. Let me check your temperature to see if you have a fever. Just as I suspected, a fever. We'll have to give you some medicine for that. Let me first use this otoscope to look inside of your ears, and then I'll use the light at the end to shine into your eyes. Your ears are clear. And your eyes are responding well. Now can you say ah for me? It looks a bit swollen in there. Probably from all the coughing you've been doing. Here, have some water. And this is some cold medicine to help with the sniffles and the cough. Yummy! That tastes like strawberries! Hmm, you're still feeling warm. We'll have to give you something to bring down that fever. I'll give you a little shot, but don't worry, you'll barely feel it. A shot? Do I have to? Yeah, having a fever can be very dangerous. There, all done. I just need to put a band-aid on it and then you're all done with your checkup. Here, let me help you up. Sky still no feel good. Have you eaten anything today? It's best to have something in your stomach when you're taking medicine. No, not yet. Here, have some fruit. Fruits are full of vitamins and minerals to help you feel better and keep your immune system strong so you can fight off the sickness. Here's some grapes. This is an orange. Try these blackberries. Here's an apple. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And finally, this is a pear. Do you feel any better now? A little, but still no good. <sighs> Why don't you stay a little longer so I can keep an eye on you? We can do this Imagine Ink together. Ooh, Sky loved the ideas. Let's do it. This Imagine Ink booklet has a bunch of activities inside that will challenge us in reading, writing, counting, and problem solving. We're going to use one magic marker to reveal rainbow colors and complete the challenges. Let's test out the marker on this page. I love these booklets because there's no rules when it comes to coloring. You can color inside the lines, outside the lines, whatever you want. Down here you can see how the book works. It says use your Imagine Ink marker to search for and reveal hidden images. Now that we know how everything works, let's do the first page. This says this German Shepherd police pup is a natural leader. Color the picture to find out who it is. Who do you think it is, Guy? It's gotta be Chase. He's a best. Yeah, Chase is the police and traffic pup. He's brave, courageous, but he also knows when to ask his friends for help. That was fun. Let's do some more. Ooh, this one looks interesting. It says no one likes getting dirty more than rubble. Help him dig up some bones. Color in one shape at a time. Try to uncover three bones before you uncover three rocks. Okay, so this is a game of chance, so I hope you're feeling lucky. The green grass pieces are freebies. Oh, we found a bone. There's another one. We just need one more to win. 
Ah, a rock. Darn, another rock. We're in the danger zone now. Oh no, a third rock. We lost. But let's continue to try to find that third bone. Wow, a fourth rock? Where is that third bone? We finally found it. We were not very lucky here, but we'll do better on the next one. This says, mirror, mirror, can you spot the five differences between the two pictures of Rocky? I'll color this in first, and then you can keep track of all the differences. All right, what do you see, Sky? His ears. One's darker and one's not. Good job. His hat, too. Yeah, one's green and one's orange. His badge is different colors. Yep, two more. Oh, oh, his paws. One's white and one's brown. Correct. Do you see the fifth difference? Um, 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 let me think. Oh, it's his eye. Yeah, one has a dark spot and the other doesn't. That's five. Let's check the answer below. It says hat, eye, feet, badge, and ear. You got them all. Fantastic job. On to the next page. It says the smart and cute cockapoo is a fearless daredevil who will try anything. Color the page to find out who it is. You should know this one right away. <laughs> yeah, it's Skies. I'm smart and cute and fearless. Yes, you are. And that's why you're the perfect pup to do air patrol. Well, that's it for today. But don't worry, there's so many more pages we can do. So if you want to see more, be sure to hit that like button. Hi, Awesome Pop. I've been trying to grow fresh vegetables at home, and this is my first batch. I'm super proud of myself because they look wonderful, and I wanted to show you and the Awesome fans first. Aw, thanks, Chase. We're honored to be the first ones to see your vegetables. Looks like they still need to be picked, but from what I can see, those veggies look very fresh and vibrant. Heh, <laughs> thank you. These are my precious vegetables. So, I got the whole planting the seeds and growing the veggies part down, but I don't really know how to prepare and eat these veggies. Can you help me out? Of course, Chase. I'll teach you everything I know. Before we start cooking with the veggies, we need to pick and clean them first. Alright, let's see what kind of vegetables Chase grew. Oh, here's an orange carrot. Let's put the carrot on the plate. Alright, what else? Ooh, here's a red chili pepper. This looks spicy. Here's a fresh green cucumber. Put this on the plate as well. Here's a white radish. And we can definitely tell from this one, but our veggies are covered in dirt. And last but not least, here's a purple eggplant. Wow! Chase did a good job. Whoop. Ooh, that was a close call. Okay, let's go wash these veggies now. Got our sink filled with water. Let's dump our veggies inside. Now let's have some running water as well. Start by cleaning this radish. Nice. Got all of the dirt off. We'll put all the washed veggies in a clean bowl. Now let's wash the purple eggplant. That looks good. Now let's wash this green cucumber. Alright, let's wash this orange carrot. Got all the dirt off. And we have one final vegetable to wash. Get this red chili nice and clean. Awesome! Check it out! Our veggies look super fresh and vibrant with all of the dirt off. Now we can start cooking with these veggies. Okay, Chase, are you ready for this? Look at the fruits of your labor. Oh my gosh, I feel like my vision got better or something. The colors are popping out at me, and the veggies look a thousand times better. Wow, cleaning the veggies really makes a difference. I thought they looked good with all the dirt on them, but I was wrong. Also, these veggies are gigantic. Anyway, what's next? Well, now that we washed away all of the dirt, you can try these veggies raw to get an idea of how they taste before they're cooked. Or, if you don't like the taste of raw veggies, we can just get right into cooking. Hmm, I put in a lot of love and time into growing these veggies. I should know how they taste once they're freshly picked, so let's do both, because I want to try them cooked as well. Okay, let's see. Out of the veggies you have, I would say the carrot and cucumber are best to eat raw, and we should definitely cook with the other ones. I trust you, Osmer Pop. Sounds like a plan. I'm so excited to try these veggies. Let's go. All right, Chase. Out of these two veggies, the cucumber holds a lot more water, so we'll start with the carrot. That way you can end on a refreshing note. I don't know if I ever tried a raw carrot before, but I know these are good for my eyes. Okay, I'm ready to eat. Enjoy.
Oh, wow. You scarfed that down. Did you like it? I did. I love the crunchy texture. It was really fun to eat. I thought the carrot was going to be completely bitter, but it had an earthy sweet taste to it, so I enjoyed it. Maybe because I grew the carrot, but it was the best carrot I've ever had. When you grow it, it tastes better. Okay, now try this green cucumber. Wow, you ate that pretty quickly too. You must have been hungry. How was it? Oh my gosh, you were right. That cucumber was crisp, cool, and refreshing. I think the skin had a bit of an earthy taste, but it was mildly sweet too. I really liked that one. It quenched my thirst. Nice. I'm glad you enjoyed both of the raw vegetables. Now it's time to try cooked veggies. Are you ready? You bet I am. We're just getting started. I know cooked veggies probably taste better than raw veggies, so I'm super excited because the raw veggies weren't bad at all. I love the spirit. Okay, let's get to cooking. All right, we have a hot pan on the stove. Let's start by cooking the radish and the eggplant. Went ahead and added some seasoning as well. So now we just have to cook the veggies on the pan for a bit. Get a nice char on all sides. Awesome! Our eggplant radish dish is complete. Let's put them on a plate. Mmm! Smells delicious! Okay, now let's cook our red chili pepper. We're going to give our dish a little spice. Now, if you don't like spicy foods at all, you can de-seed the chili and cook with it. Then you can still taste the chili pepper without burning your tongue off. I think Chase likes a little kick though, so we'll keep the seeds. Mix our chili inside this dish. Perfect! Our meal is ready! Here you go, Chase! I made you an eggplant dish with some radish and chilies. Ooh! That smells incredible! And I can already tell this dish will have a kick from the scent. Ooh! Smells spicy! I know you mixed everything in, but can I try each veggie separately, please? Of course! Let's start with the radish. Enjoy! That was really good. Texture-wise, it was like a soft potato. I loved how mushy it was and, wow, the chili pepper made the radish a bit spicier, but the radish itself was sweet, so it cooled me down. I loved it. I'm ready to try the next veggie. Okay, here's the main one. Try this eggplant. Oh, wow. That was delicious because that eggplant was packed with flavor. That's good to know when I cook with this in the future. It's almost like a sponge. Just absorbed all of that seasoning to make each bite very tasty, and the texture was super tender. Yum! Okay, I'm ready for a kick now. I see you've been eyeing this chili pepper. Enjoy, and be careful. <sighs> Ooh, that was spicy, but it was really good. It was smoky, earthy, and I just feel happy in general. What a meal! I need to grow veggies more often so that I can eat more of them. You know, you can also buy veggies at the store and eat them too. But anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed everything. Did you like the raw veggies or cooked veggies better? Hmm, I know that raw veggies provided more nutrients, so I do like that. And I liked how crisp and fresh each bite was. But I can't stop thinking about the cooked veggies. Taste-wise, they were just so much better. I guess you can't beat that, huh? I liked both, but I'm leaning more towards cooked. Nothing wrong with that. I also agree. I think cooked veggies are super delicious. Anyway, we're all finished now, so let's start cleaning up. Once again, what a meal! Thank you for cleaning and cooking the veggies for me. I'll help out with the dishes. Let's go! Alright, let's put all of the dirty dishes inside the sink. There we go. Now let's run the water. Grab a sponge. Soak it and add some dish soap. Alright, here we go. Give me a minute while I do the dishes. We can dry the clean dishes off to the side here. Almost finished. Nice! The dishes are clean. Turn the water off. And we can just leave the sponge in there. Awesomer Pop, I had a ton of fun growing my vegetables, and since I grew them, they tasted so much better. Thank you for preparing the veggies for me in different ways. I'm going back to my garden to plant more seeds, and then we can do this again once those veggies are ready to be picked. See you next time! 
awesome or pop fans thank you so much for watching we can't do this without you if you're new to the channel and became a fan click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff and if you want to be the first person to watch our next video hit that notification bell to have a chance see ya